This is a set of keys for a Subaru with keyless entry. In my case, a 2010 Subaru Impreza. This key works fine, but this key doesn't. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the battery and get your second spare key working like your regular key. Tools for this job are simple. Firstly, you'll need your key that doesn't work, this one in my case. Secondly, you'll need a new battery, a CR1632. I bought this a few days ago, links in the description below. And then you'll need a thin, flat-bladed screwdriver to be able to prise the case open. Finally, it's worth saying that this is covered in the instruction manual, or the user manual for the car. It isn't very descriptive, uh, hence the need for a video to show you how to do it. So let's get straight to it, and I'll show you now. So in order to access the battery compartment for the key, the first thing you need to do is remove the key bird that sits in this key. You may have noticed a little metal uh, pin here, or clip, so then you pull that towards you like this, and then just pull out the blade like that. That then gives access to a place in here, which is just there, where we need to, let's put it a little closer, just in the middle, where we then need to prise open. So let's do that. That's just a place of putting a screwdriver in. That's, there is a little recess for it, and then you just twist. And then as the cover's out, uh, the key can then separate. So that's the, the top of the buttons, and here is our other circuit board. And there, under here, and uh, be very careful here, because this is can see the brain of the key. It's just gently lift that out of it. And let us see. There's one of the key isn't working because there is no battery. That's interesting. Um, right. That's going to make plenty of interesting change. Let's have a put it. So I'm going to put it up at my other key and uh, positive needs to be facing it. Let's put it on. I'm going to bloody open this packet so let's just get this. Let's send out of here. So I'm actually 1632. Uh, seems to be fairly easily available. Oh, yeah, it's just a case of slipping the battery in here. It's got little clips that we press it underneath. Let's put that there. And we get it clipped in. So with the battery now installed, it is then just a case of putting everything back together. There's a relief in the case here, which is where the battery sits. So let's uh, put that in like that. And then I get the other half of the case and just bring the two together. I've done this once before on my other key and it is a little bit fiddly. Just got to get everything lined up and then just squeeze that together. So I'm finding it easier now to put the, to flip the board over and put that in the other half and then bring this half with nothing in it in and did it that way. It just seems that rubber rubber protective piece for the board gets pinched. There we go. You get a nice positive click from that key when that goes together. And then the final piece then is just to reinsert the key blade as you would and then just clip that in and then we're done. Right, let's go and check and see if it works. One final thing I'm going to do before I test though is I'm going to put the key that I know to be working in this Faraday box in order that it doesn't, uh, the car doesn't see it from a keyless point of view. So that can go in there. We know that's the one that works. Close that off and then this is the one to test. So testing key, uh, normal key first, let's check. Bingo. Car works and then let's test the keyless, put that in my pocket. Job done. Wonderful. So there we go. And that is how to replace your battery in your Subaru keyless key. Uh, as I mentioned, mine is a 2010 Impreza. I've seen these keys uh, mentioned with respect to Foresters and Outbacks. So I'm sure there's plenty of you out there who've got these type of keys. If you found that helpful, let me know. Send me a comment, send me a like, and I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.